Welcome back, everybody. I'm your host, Kelly Sparks, aka Red Beard. So, we have another gift review from Dan and Nicole from the great state of Vermont. Vermont. <laughs> Fuck off, what? This is Chickadee English Style Bitter. <sighs> At the bottom, it says Nitro Can. Please shake. So you might see me get skeeted on. This is from Bunker Bunker Brewing Company English Style Ale. One pint, 4.3 percent alcohol, brewed and canned by Bunker Brewery, Portland, Maine. I have a really good friend from Port. Or he's not from Portland, Maine. He's from Maine. Like I can't remember. I'll have to send him this video so he can comment below. His name is Jason. We were roommates. In Florida, Florida. Oh shit! I forgot to shake it. Oh, it's skeeting. Oh, I forgot to shake it. Oh, buddy, you're gonna get a lot. It was a bad idea. So anyway, uh, I'll just uh, make a mess. Read the directions first, folks. Uh, not too bad for a half ass shaking up ale. It smells good. So, anyway, I'll send the video to Jason and he can comment below. He talks like a. Oh man. I can't understand half of what he says. It's been so long, we lived together from 2004 to 2007-ish in Orlando, Florida. Uh, first day we met, I think we went to a strip club. And then I got a job at said strip club later on. But we were down there going to Motorcycle Mechanics Institute, which was a huge waste of money on my part. because. Uh, I started working at a strip club, living that high life lifestyle, and uh, shortly thereafter, a few months later, started dating one of the girls, weaseled my way into the pants of one of the more attractive females there. And we had a good time. She, I probably had a better time than she did, but nonetheless, this beer smells really good. Anyway, I'm trying it out. Body drank all of her beer. It's not near. Maybe the English style bitter is a lot less bitter than the American IPAs or the heavily bittered beer that they produce here in the States. Maybe not necessarily an IPA, but I don't think it's very bitter at all. Probably didn't shake it enough. I would have got exploded on. <sighs> oh well. I did pour it heavily into the glass, so hopefully that kind of made up for the shaking. Because it's a very cloudy, you can see it, very cloudy. Very cloudy beer. But. It's not near as, like, I was thinking, like, you know, bitter beer face, like, like some freaking IPA or something. I already said that. I'm repeating myself. But anyway. Yeah, that's, there's nothing wrong with that. I like it a lot. I mean, I have come to find out that I am a fan of ales in particular. Uh... Most ales, I mean, I like a good ale. It cures what ails you. But anyway, yeah. So, uh, let's talk about me for a second. Man, I've been feeling pretty good. Uh, I think a couple nights I had some like really, I, I cut back, I've cut back even more on my drinking. 
And mind you, the last few videos I recorded, they're all the same afternoon, but the most volume is this beer and the other drinks are like three quarters of an ounce. But, feeling really good, honestly. And I, I would like to think it's the medicine doing what it's supposed to do, hopefully. I might even say it, no severe side effects. Take the words out of that. Knock on wood. Uh, been feeling really good. Like I said in the last video, or I can't remember which one. Uh, oh yeah, I already, <laughs> I'm recording this one before that. Or I'm releasing this one before I recorded those. But at arm wrestling competition, still, it's still Saturday for me. You're seeing this and it's Sunday or Monday. I don't know one of those two days. I'm gonna probably just start trying to record as much as possible and just release every other day, no matter what day it is. Uh, but Saturday, I had a small arm wrestling tournament over in Screveport, Louisiana. Uh, there might have been 30 people there competing and uh, my weight class in my division, we only had four guys. So I got third, left hand. We got last right hand. My right sucks, but it is what it is. It's just gonna take a long time to get there. Cause I broke it like a jackass. You see my, my oh my scar. I spilt beer on me. <clears throat> but it, it, I'm happy with my left hand. Like I've just injuries galore plus fucking heart failure. Where'd that come from? But anyway, just dealing with injuries and. Uh, recovery and just trying to make progress and have a good time and compete uh, all in all nope didn't get injured today so thank goodness uh, still had a pretty good fight on my left I uh, didn't really have any fights on my right any like thing anything that you would call a fight like I got beat twice on my right but Hung around, learned some new little tips and tricks. Arm wrestling is, I would say, 75% strength, 15% uh, strategy, and 10% uh, craziness. Mm. But, had a good time. I'm not happy that I got third, but I'm happy that I had a pretty good fight on one match left-handed. Uh, the guy that I beat left-handed, uh, I don't feel bad for beating him because I've lost a lot in the last almost three years. 99% of my matches at competitions I've lost. So I don't feel bad whenever I get a win. Just so happens that the guy was handicapped. <laughs> and I'm not laughing at his handicap, guys. I'm not. But I'm laughing at myself for beating a handicapped guy. Um, I think he had, he might have had like cerebral palsy or MS or something. His right arm was not fully functioning. He had a bit of a, a limp. But all in all, dude has strong left arm. And I'm like, the worst, in my opinion, and I said this to one of the other guys. Well, actually, the guy that I had a really good match, he's a training partner of mine. He asked me, he's like, I don't know if I can, man, I'm going I'm to feel bad, like, for beating this guy if I just whip his ass. I'm like, like, he is putting himself out there and wants to compete and, like, be like everybody else. The worst thing we can do is to treat him like he's special. Like, he needs to get his ass whipped because not everybody is gonna take it easy on him. You don't wanna blow his head up and give him a, a false sense of grandeur or whatever you call it, whatever. I, can't, I don't know what I'm trying to say. But, and I didn't, I didn't it wasn't like a smoke show. And, whatever, I mean, he had, a, he had a strong arm, but his hand and wrist wasn't where it needed to be. And like we, we slipped out on the first one. I peeled his hand back. 
and then his hand kind of got into this position and then it just we just slipped instead of me just holding it so they tied our hands together and then i'm just cupped and kind of rolled over and pinned it and then as soon as the match was over with we walked off the stage walked down to him shook his hand again man and like try to give him tips and pointers on how to get better and in my opinion that's the best thing about arm wrestling is your opponent is going to could be your greatest potentially your greatest uh friend in arm wrestling because they want you to get better that's how we all get better that's how we all like keep striving like as soon as i got beat you like motherfucker always beating you and then you get on the practice table after it's all over with and he shows you hey this is what you should do work on this so that's arm wrestling is a huge family i mean there's dickheads everywhere but more often than not you're gonna find good people <clears throat> and they're gonna try to help you after it's all said and done so i beat a crook i beat a handicapped guy today but i don't win a lot so i'm gonna take my win Anyway, that's all I got. Hey, Bonnie, you want some more beer? It's about dinner time. Get you some of that, Bonnie. There's a lot. Ooh, I'll give you a lot. Pour it out the rest. She got a, she got a few ounces. Ow, elbow. Anyway, it's getting hot. It's actually starting to cool off finally. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, this chickadee, chickadee beer, chickadee, pretty good. I like it. So far, we're uh, three for three on the last few videos. Everything I liked, so, uh, everything I recorded today. So. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, like the video, subscribe, share it with your friends. Hit the bell for notification. Uh, check the description below for all the ways to help out with the building around the house. If you want to be like Dan and Nicole and send me a can of beer from your area that n otherwise I would never see, Send me an email, kellysparks33 at gmail. It's just, Bonnie, get him, Bonnie. Get him, Bonnie. Guy riding by on his four wheelers. Now cruising around in flip flops. Anyway, uh, kellysparks33 at gmail, uh, or I have another one, Redbeard Swag. I think that one's linked uh, somewhere on the header on my homepage. But anyway, contact me. We'll, we'll figure out logistics. If you want to send me a beer or an ale or something from your area, I am all about it. Anyway, that's all I got. Thanks for watching. Like always, drink some whiskey, drink some beer, share it with your friends and family, like Dan and Nicole did. Be safe, don't drink and drive. Take care, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.